Hello all, welcome to another GitHub Copilot episode. In today's episode, we'll look into the different agents introduced in VS Code. So going straight to the code, there are three agents as part of GitHub Copilot chat. You have three agents which can be invoked by at the rate symbol. You have a terminal, VS Code and Workspace. So start with the Workspace. Workspace help you to address the project related questions. Let us start with a few of the questions in terms of how this particular in here you can see there is a get copilot usage data. How this usage data is used across this application. So that will be our first question. Where all the places my get copilot usage data method used so this is my first question there is no other open files here but i am asking copilot for support to get anywhere we are using this particular method invocation of method may be happening in another file which file is having that invocation so copilot is taking the context of ndr workspace that's the agent's duty look at the workspace and see whether this particular question or this method is used anywhere so look at the workspace and see whether this particular method is used in any of the files so copilot identified that it is used in two levels the org level component and seats component if i go to org level component and go for the get copilot usage data it's available here so it's uh, directly connecting me to the other files where this particular method is used and in a general terms uh, this project is an angular project where i have multiple charts are used so i just want to know what kind of charts created in this application and in which files so i need to understand any places we already have the charts and if it is there which all files have that chart entries so that i can just have a look on that and understand how the implementation is done based on that i can take decisions whether to take the similar approach or a different approach so the copilot is uh, constructing the data based on the workspace as the context right now you can see that editor chart is used in org level component and there is a user chart language chart and everything is used in org level component so if i go directly here you can see that this copilot data is used and editor chart that is coming from this particular one so either you can go directly to here or i hope this link may be opening just the file the file is op already opened and we will see where this chart there is a language chart and you have the editor detail chart these are the charts used so it's brought all the chart information across the project and it's displayed here similarly sometimes we may search for where actually the settings are done in an angular case uh, it's uh, in an environment file we normally manage the configuration data so i just need to add a new configuration so i am just checking what are the environment files in my project so it brings the environment file so that i can directly go there and edit the new entry so it's bringing the environment files and I can open it directly here and look at the constructor, how it's doing kind of thing. Here there is a two methods which invoke the external APIs. So if I go and ask the workspace, workspace, explain the API invoke method in my service class so there may be multiple services class each one have its own api invocations i'm taking the help of copilot with the workspace as the context so workspace act as an uh, agent for me 
and help me to understand where the API service is getting called and how it is invoked so that I can understand how the construction of the code for a new API invocation kind of thing. So it's uh, provided the detailed information here, how I can construct it and which class contain the API invocation and all. So this all are the workspace anchor. Even you can say workspace and a particular class is used across where and all such questions can be triggered. And let us move to the next agent that is nothing but VS Code. So you have a lot of functionalities embedded in your editor. In this case, there is a lot of features associated with VS Code. For drilling down each of the features, we need to go through each of the menu items, drill down and understand where the feature is or a generic search can be done. So VS Code provides the complete information related to VS Code. That's the purpose of VS Code agent. So let me just ask how to change the theme. The theme of my project or theme of the editor, not the project, the editor. It deals with the VS Code areas, how to set the theme or change the uh, language patterns, everything will come here. So it's give the details Either you can follow this one or just click on this icon or the button show in command palette. You can see that preferred color themes came. Enter it. It brings all the themes. You can go through whichever themes you want. So it's directly working. So let me go for another example. Just like we are dealing with copilot. So how to change the copilot settings. So it's a VS Code specific one. So it looks at how to change the settings in VS Code, not in a GitHub Enterprise or ID or anywhere else. It's in the uh, VS Code itself. And it's provided the details, settings.json. These are the features available. I can directly open the Copilot settings here. So this all VS Code specific one. The next one is terminal one. So terminal provide the details on any kind of terminal activities you need some commands to list the files or the git command anything so how to rebase my git repository so this is my command i am looking at and it's a terminal command i am looking not any of the project related things so it goes and suggest a terminal command which can help me to do the rebasing of my repository so it's provided the detail git rebase the branch name is the one let us go for another terminal command so i'm going to provision a single aks cluster with a single node in azure this is my requirement i'm just taking the help of copal to suggest me the azure commands for provisioning an aks cluster that is my request so let me see how Copilot is going to help me with the command. So it's collected the information, everything, and it's going to give me the AKS cluster provisioning. So as you can see that AKS cluster create resource group name and node count is one. That's a single node approach we specified. How to provision an S3 bucket in AWS. So if I need to provision an S3 bucket in AWS, so it should give the AWS command, not the AC command or the Azure command or GitHub command. Sir. So let us see whether terminal will be able to help me here. So it's coming up with the Azure AWS command also here. So any kind of command requirements, you can use the terminal. And also, if you have already a terminal opened, you can go with this harsh statement to get the details of last command and any selection maybe a compilation error you selected how to get the details of that one you can use hash commands along with the agents so vs code supports three agents workspace for the ndr projects context vs code is for the vs code related features terminal is for getting the command line or the commands for executing at the command line or terminal window. So these are the three agents available. Similar kind of features can be 
done as part of the intellige or jet brains thing we will cover that as part of the next episode thank you